Up until this point, we've talked about virtual assistants and the keyboard as an either or sort of thing, but they can also work together in concert very nicely. This is what I like to call the Tony Stark scenario. I'm at a computer working, but I freely mix in voice commands for straightforward tasks that I'd rather delegate to my own personal Jarvis. Let's go back to our purchase order approval. Joe Smith has been busy entering purchase orders again, and I have to deal with them. But rather than use form exits in traditional UI, I can just say what it is that I want to have happen. So looking at these, okay, I see an easy one. I can go ahead and approve that, it's cheap. Alexa, tell JD Edwards to approve purchase order 5063. Purchase order number 5063 has been approved. If I refresh, you'll see that that one's taken care of. Down here I see what looks to be two duplicate orders, so I'm gonna go ahead and reject one of those. Alexa, tell JD Edwards to reject purchase order 5066. Please provide a justification for rejecting this purchase order. This looks to be a duplicate. Purchase order number 5066 has been rejected. And there we see how mixing the keyboard and the virtual assistant together can create a complete solution that's more powerful than either one of them alone.